hello everyone now let us see one of the question from cisco exam that is 20301 uh, the question is here refer to exhibit which outcome is expected when pc a sends data to pc b after their initial communication so what is trying to say here what is the outcome he is saying what is that outcome when a wants to communicate with b okay when a wants to communicate with d so after this communication okay what are the, what after this initial communication what happens okay inside this switch either this mac address that means you know see every system has one address which is called mac address whether this mac address is going to be get changed in the source source means this machine or the destination the destination means the PC, pcb either the destination address is going to be replaced with this broadcast address or the source address that means whatever the information address has been sent through this and this is it going to be the same inside this switch or switch rewrites its okay its own mac address so exactly what happens okay inside this so among these four a b c d which is the right answer and for this the right answer for this is you know c what is this answer here okay the source and the destination mac address remain the same where inside the switch when after this initial you know communication once the communication get completed now how now for this now let us understand exactly the working process of this switch how switch okay initially okay when it communicates from one device to another device so what happen exactly inside that right now you can see this is my packet reserve and inside this packet reserve this is my switch and like an example which we are talking about this uh, one of the address is 10.0.0.1 and the another system ip address is 10.0.0.4 like others also all systems got connected okay over here now these are all the ports of the switch so when you are trying to get connect to this uh, you know device you can see all these ports over here like for switch we have you know uh, 1 to 24 or 48 ports of switches which will be getting uh, for someone who is new okay what is exactly switch here switch okay switch is a device okay which connects you know multiple uh, pcs to okay form a what do you say okay to form a single network right so for your information without this you know device call switch we cannot establish a network okay we cannot establish a network that means we cannot we cannot establish a local area network wired network when i'm talking about so now this switch okay what happens exactly okay when they communicate each other that means when devices communicate with each other now for an example like i have taken here four computers over here like the same thing you know what you have here system a b c d now a wants to communicate with now this is a source of mine and this is my destination now when okay this a wants to communicate with d so what happened exactly inside the switch now when a wants to communicate with d now a okay wants to communicate with d now this a information has sent to switch this a information has sent sent to what is this switch now what is the switch job is it now switch job is to find out the destination and reach you know this packet something which i'm saying hi and this message has to be delivered to the destination now how it delivers so initially okay now whenever i talk about this okay uh, when a doesn't know about the d so what happens means so this information from a okay so what happens here there is one more protocol which is one protocol which is called as address resolution protocol arp okay so what this arp okay do means okay uh, when it's uh, exactly what arp protocol do means when it know the ip address it finds the mac address what is i repeat what do i say arp what does it protocol do when it's know the ip address it's try to find out the mac address now a know where it has to go where it has to go that means it do, in it know the destination address 
so when it know the destination address means now that information is given to ARP. okay that means ARP protocol now ARP protocol has taken this what it has taken 10.0.0.4 now this information what this ARP protocol has done it has given to the switch now what switch will do okay for the first time so whenever okay we are working with this switch now switch initially what does it do means it will okay broadcast okay the packets now it broadcasts the packets that means so whatever the information which it got through from this ARP request about this 10.0.0.4 now what this switch is going to do means it is going to broadcast this information that means this to all the pack, uh, you know ports of the switch now all the ports that means how many ports now this cisco switch which has how many 48 ports here now this 48 ports all the ports received about this you okay, know the request which is sent through by this arp request to the switch and switch has broadcasted this now the destination address that means d okay now what d here d responds here that okay someone has brought me some request and this request is matching for me that means 10.0.0.4 okay now this request is matching for me now let me share my okay what i say mac id let me share my what i say mac id and this you know system will add it mac id okay and give that packet to the switch now what switch is doing here now it will take this mac address and it will store that mac address inside this switch right so now what is happening here now that addresses which are stored inside this switch now where that addresses are stored inside this switch mean now it is stored inside this switch in a location and that which we say it as a mac table that which we say it as a what is it mac table now what this mac table contains now this mac table now this is a port number and this is a mac address this is a mac address now for an example let's understand this this is a port number one okay and what is a port number one mac address now this a mac address which we can say as an example this is a1 now this information which is brought and stored inside this mac table now the last one which i'm talking about is d now this is port number four and what is the port number four id and here i have this what is it something which mac address example i'm trying to put this mac addresses okay d4 now this mac address here which i'm trying to get here is inside here what is it inside this mac address table now i have you know the port number one address and the port number four address now this is the initial communication right the first time it broadcasted and it got some you know uh, what I say destination address and that destination address has been added into this MAC table on the next time whenever this you know this A wants to communicate with D now this is not going to do broadcasting over here this is not going to be doing broadcasting here okay now what happens there second time this switch do something called what is it unicast what switch is going to do here okay something which I say what is it Unicast. So what is Unicast? Which I say one to one. What is Unicast? One to one. That message is exactly okay, which is given to the destination. That means this information is directly given to this port. How it is given to this port? That means with the help of this, you know, MAC table as it is storing the source and destination address. That means the port numbers and the MAC IDs over here, right? And this is going to be for certain time period of time. This is going to be for certain time period now the same thing okay inside this okay if you see into the uh what do you say cisco uh what is a packet reserve now here you say this is a and this is d now let's see here inside this switch now we are trying to say there is something which is called as a mac table here right okay and this mac table inside this switch how you can check it so let me go and run few commands over here so for this i say that em and show mac hyphen address table so here when you try to you know when you want to know the mac address of this switch okay when you sorry when you want to know the mac address of all these devices all these connected devices okay inside this uh, switch you want to check what are that addresses inside this mac table now you see this is empty over here now you cannot see anything over here it says something called vlan mac address type and ports 
right so what is vlan and all that is a you know separate uh, topic that which you can learn over here now we know that uh, you know mac id and type automatically how it gets and where which port number it is got connected now what we'll do for that example now we are trying to understand through this picture right so a wants to communicate with d and this r through with this r protocol it has taken and uh, switch has broadcasted and finally destination d responded and it added his mac id and it brought it and stored into this mac table now the same thing what theoretically we discussed let's try to see practically how it happens inside this switch right right now i don't see any addresses over here in this switch operating system that is in the ios now let me try to communicate here what is this this a and d over here so to communicate means let me go and ping this quickly here what i say now i want to communicate with the uh, system d so here i use a protocol called uh, I icmp to reach that so and uh, the destination at the address that is called 10.0.0. what is it four now let me check this ip address over here now you can see this is a four address which i have here and here i'm trying to say now i am the source i'm sending the information to the destination so when i do that process so initially whenever i enter here whenever i enter here now you can see here uh, within a fraction of seconds okay what it happened now a came to know about who is d and it is able to send the packets from a to what do you say d it is able to send the packets from a to D. like graphically you can see in, in this way i said you know source and destination and you can see successfully and with the help of this icmp protocol i could able to go from my source to destination right now initial communication was happened now once this initial communication was happened what is the outcome over here what is the outcome over here now that is what the you know question from the cisco okay which has been asked here now the initial communication has happened I know after their initial communication is the mac address is going to change or it is replaced with this or it is going to be same source and destination whatever it is there in here and here it is going to be here right now for that now let's see here okay inside this now for that to check this now we have a command here what is it show mac hyphen address what is it table now if i get into this command now you can see here the port number of this okay system and uh, the mac address of this device what is the mac address in your computer also you can check this mac address if i go with ncpo.cpl and uh, press enter you can see here my system you know mac address over here so this is my uh, computer mac address over here and this mac address is going to come and store inside the switch in switch that means inside the switch operating system so how do you can check it you can check with the help of this command like in packet razor now you can see here now this is my computer and inside this computer somewhere i can able to see my mac address also uh, like uh, if i get into my can you see this mac address of this 2b ac and uh, this is connected to the port 1 how do you say it is connected to port 1 you can see here this is connected to port 1 and the same thing you can check it out here okay when i'm trying to get into here now you see port number one, you know, two B A C. This is a MAC address, and same thing like you know, port number four. Now you can see this device is connected over here for port number four, and the MAC address of this device you can see over here is, uh, what is it, six uh, B eight B, and you can see for the same. Okay, inside this, uh, it is going to display me, okay, six B eight B, right? Now these are the two. Uh, addresses that means mac addresses which are stored inside this and it's going to be remain for the same that is what i'm trying to put the answer over here the source and destination address remain the same now, what is the source this is a source address and what is the destination this is the destination address so hope you understood from this thank you all